our viewers across Africa and the rest of the world, this is MC Continental Prime, and my name is Felicity Ezewike. As Nigeria joined the rest of the world in marking the 2023 International Day for Health and Safety at Work, Nigeria's government has expressed worry over the number of workplace injuries sustained by citizens in both the nation's private and public sector. Representatives from Nigeria's labor union also called for more protection of workers through the provision of a safe and secure working environment. I'm worried about the injuries sustained by workers. In as much as the policies are there, not many organizations actually are keeping in line with what government has asked them to do. You find out that yearly, uh, the NSITF, National Nigeria Social Insurance Trust Fund, one of our sister agencies, it has to pay out claims, compensation for work injuries. And what we are doing, commemorating this day, especially with this thing that has to do with decent work, is to ensure that organizations in Nigeria put in place the strategies to ensure that people are not injured and that when, if injured, they are compensate, uh, compensated. As the APEX regulatory institution for all the federal workforce and as a champion of workers' welfare, the Office of the Head of Civil Service of the Federation has put it upon itself that if you know the FC, this is pillar C, improving the value proposition for what staff welfare. Now, the welfare goes beyond your salary. If you have the salary but you cannot spend it, of what good is that to you? Of what good is that to you? So, but if the environment is safe, and we all come together to push all of these things, then the future of work will become a better future. Joining us on the news is Umu Koro Claxton, a senior health safety professional. Thank you for giving us your time. Let's talk about the ILO's position on the importance of health and safety in the workplace. What are some of these specifications? Hello, Mr. Claxton, can you hear me? You need to unmute your, um, unmute your device, please. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Can you, can you hear me, please? Yes, I can hear you now. Did you get my question? Can, can you come back, please, with the question? Okay, I'm asking you about the ILO's position on the importance of health and safety in the workplace. What are some of the specifics in this regard? Yeah, thank you for that very important question. One of the specifics is to ensure that there is safety for personnel at the workplace. Um, before now, there had been series of injuries um, as a result of um, poor management of uh, the work environment, leading to several injuries. So with this, um, the ILO has come up with regulations to ensure that the workplace is made safe. The environment is conducive and is safe for workers to work so that the injuries are brought down and impossible compensations are eliminated. So workplace is, 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 is a place that if all is, is not put in place, then there will be injuries. So the ILO has made it um, very, very mandatory for ILO member countries. Um, of which Nigeria has um, subscribed since 1960 to ensure that the workplace and the environment is made safe. Made safe by uh, ensuring that um, regulations are put in place to ensure the safety of workers round about. All right. Uh, there's a lot of talk about yes. mental health today uh, in, in every sphere. So it's important that we ask, does mental health that maybe directly is related to the safety um, at work and as well as hygiene, does it form part of ILO's constitution or that is just modern day um, addition? Mental health is key not uh, safe or conducive. If the environment is not good, it borders on the health of the workers. And when the health of the workers is, is not uh, uh, in good uh, state, then there will be issues that will be leading to incidents and accidents. So the mental health is 
key in our work environment. That is one of the reasons why the ILO has made it uh, mandatory for the workplace to be, to be made conducive and to ensure that all member countries that subscribe have a conducive environment that will infer a good mental health for incidents to be reduced. So mental I health is key. Now, considering the importance in the workplace of health and safety, what do you say those who champion its promotion, health and safety and environment experts like yourself are valued in Nigeria? Mr. Claxton, can you hear me? Yeah, interestingly, yeah, I can hear you. A little bit distorted, but I can hear you clearly now. All right. Interestingly, um, the interestingly the the experts like those of us um, are, are, are valued, but not to the extent that it should be compared to the Western countries. So uh, upon this note, it is very important that the country makes more robust um, laws, make more robust environmental impact for the value of experts in HSC to 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 increase. And then also to make sure there are there are uh, regulations that we throw more weight on HSC experts or safety experts to be able to to expand and to to go through um, into all the parastatas, particularly government parastatas, to ensure that this is driven down to the grassroots to avoid and to eliminate all safety issues. The value is there, but more needs to be done to, to ensure that we bring safety to bear in all parastatos so that we can eliminate our injuries as it is with our incidents right. in workplace. Uh, your audio is not great, but let's just take this last question. Um, how best, in your opinion, uh, should HSE experts be included and prioritized in the workplaces in Nigeria? Uh, thank you. That, that's very important. What the, the area that should be included is in all um, employ, employers. All companies that are coming up should be uh, passed through a governmental scrutiny to ensure there is an HSE fact in every of the companies. The reason is simple. If there are HSE experts, they will go through all work procedures to ensure that safety is factored into every of their job processes to ensure that incidents are brought to the barest minimum. With that, you can see that in the statistics, incidents will be reduced, and then uh, Nigerians can make a boast by saying that in statistics, we don't have incidents as much as others that are having compared with, with, with the impact of HSE uh, experts that have come into the system to ensure that they do what is needful for incidents to be eliminated. So it's very important that HSE experts are factored into, for example, I take um, an example for um, a fuel station, for example. I doubt whether there are HSE experts there. And that is a very volatile point. So when we have HSE experts factored into the, the filling station's uh, owners, we have them factored into environment, I mean, into governmental uh, um, uh, establishment we have them factored to the, the, the okay, religious um, uh, activities where you have a bulk of people coming in okay i, I think you it. you've made your point on the importance of having uh, these experts in workplaces mr omukoro claxton thank you very much for giving us your time thank you for having me